I'm Jody Sanders with American Patchwork and Quilting. Today's video is being brought to you by Baby Lock and the Evolution Serger. Now, there's lots of things that your serger can do that you may be using your sewing machine for. Let me show you a couple of things. Let's say we've got this quilt top. It's a very simple quilt made with squares. Um, this was put together using your sewing machine, but you could put the squares together using your serger if you wanted to. The other thing that you can do is, you'll notice on this quilt, it was finished, but it was put away in a box and it was never completed. And so what's happened is we've got some of these frayed edges along the side. We also have a place here and a couple other places where the seams are starting to come apart a little bit. Well, if you're not quite ready to machine quilt it yet or hand quilt it, what you could do is you could go along the edges with your serger and you can see here along the edges they've been surged and what would happen is it would cover up those seams that might be popping and also it'll take off these frayed edges. Okay, something else you can do with your serger that maybe you've done with your sewing machine is to sew two long pieces of plush together. I've got an example here that I want to show you. These are two long pieces of plush, plush fabric and sometimes they shift when you're trying to sew them together on your sewing machine, but doing it with some clips and the serger can be done in no time. I'll show you how. When sewing with a serger, we usually suggest that you don't use pins. The pins can sometimes get lost in thicker fabric, and then you end up sewing over them, and that can ruin your serger. But what we would suggest is trying these Wonder Clips. They work great with this plush fabric, and they're hefty enough that they can hold those pieces together. So you can see here, I have a few of them used about, probably about four or five inches apart, and now I'm gonna go to the serger and go ahead and sew this together. Now, as I get to each of these clips, I'm gonna take them off and set them off to the side so that I'm not sewing over them or around them. And then just keep surging all the way down the length of your strip until you get to the very end. So as you can see, I've got a nice long strip here sewn with two pieces of plush fabric together. You can just continue adding and make a backing for a quilt, which would be really nice and comfortable, or it also could be the front of a quilt. Just keep adding more and more strips with your serger. It's a fast and easy way to make a quilt. So as you can see, your serger is a great tool for making a simple quilt top or a simple quilt back. 